scale problems. Next, we consider the model which have the scale parameter. So, let x1, x2, xn be the random sample having the model that is xi that is equal to theta xi and i varies from 1 to n where theta is greater than 0 is presenting the scale parameter. Actually, theta here presenting the scale parameter. If it is going to multiply or it is going to divide, we say that it is a some sort of scale parameter. And W1, W2 up to Wn are the iid random variables having the probability density function that is f of w. Then the common probability density function of the xi, actually that is 1 over theta f of x. Ye theta dusi side pe jab jayega, to ye 1 over theta ho jayega isko. Theta raised to power minus 1 likha hua into f of x. So, the common distribution of the xi, that is theta raised to power minus 1 into f of x. The statistic u, that is u x1 up to xn is, an, is ancillary. If u of alpha x1 up to so on alpha xn, if it results in, in term of uh, u of x1 up to xn for all alpha, and alpha belongs to the real line, then we say that it is ancillary statistic. Considering in the light of the model 1, u is equal to u of x1 up to xn and if it is equal to u of theta w1 up to so on theta wn and if it results in, in the term of u of w1, w2 up to wn and you can see that it is free from theta, then we say that it is ancillary statistic. Since neither the joint distribution of w1, w2 up to wn and the u contain theta, so we say that the scale invariant statistic. The following are some examples of the scale invariant. These are actually x1 square over sum of xi square. We can also take x1 over x1 plus x2. Uh, uh, there is another example of the scale invariant that is minimum of x1 that is the ratio of the minimum x1 and the maximum x1. So, all those uh, uh, statistics which provide some sort of in term of ratio, we can say that uh, it turns out to be the ancillary statistic if the model belongs to the scale parameter.